the track. It is 7.04. Um, my name is Bren. Um, GS, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I know you weren't going to stream, but I do appreciate that. They just finished up the DP race. Tyreek gets his first win in there. I know he kind of, we had an incident in the race. It's all good. Um, it was pretty fun. Now on to the Cup Series. Now, this Cup Series, we have some new drivers. They just upgraded uh, one of the drivers, Ward's Rule. He is someone to watch, especially in these 2020 Cup cars. He is quick. He's in the 55 tonight. Um, some other ones, Notables in the field. Goodwrench, we know him. GS, of course. You got uh, Corbell, he's always quick. P Pure Splash, decent driver. Tampex, of course. The favorite tonight of, I mean, you can't go wrong picking Tampex any week in this series. Um, we're going to go over the points. I know I wasn't here for Sonoma. Uh, Tampex did dominate Sonoma. He led every single lap in that race. But I will go over the points so everyone is caught up. I, I Sorry I took a little break for a week. I will be back next week, hopefully, if I don't have any plans. So the point standings of as of now, it's going to be Tampex in first with 912. He is a huge points lead over Witt, who's in second. Corbell in third, and fourth is going to be King, and fifth is going to be Mike with 528, and in sixth is going to be It's Mike, I-T-Z Mike. Then it's going to be T-Bone in seventh, Star Q, who we know is pretty quick. He won uh, the DPS race at Homestead last week. He's currently sitting in eighth with two victories on the season, same as Wit with one. Chunk in ninth, Footlong in tenth. Rogue in 11th, Natty Daddy in 12th, and then you see Goodrich in 13th after a few races. You see Payton in 14th, Gear Getter in 15th, and then Pure Splash in 16th with GS right behind him, 30 points behind. Dirt Racer right behind him, Exo in 19th, and then Max D in 20th. That is your top 20 in points. If I go all the way down, it's going to be Bulldogs, Dude Chief, Notre Dame, Flywheel, A. Ferris, myself, Thank you, Phil, Jutes, Short Dog, and Sting, and Tommy Gun. Those are your current point standings. Iowa. This is a fun track, especially in these 2020 cars. The main thing, the bottom is king here. If you want to save your tires, you save your tires all night. You got to run that bottom. It's going to be a 50 percenter. I have. I need to check out the laps. I'm going to do it right now. We need to see how many laps it's going to be. I don't have the stage amount because I have not. I wasn't able to properly do a lap counter i haven't raced iowa that much i haven't raced these 2020 cars as much as i need to but we are going to see how many laps it's going to be tonight um uh, how many is going to be tonight Iowa is going to be 140 laps so it's going to be a decent long race not going to be one of those shorty short races uh we are going to join up and watch qualifying which they are just now getting into so I am joining off their link that they sent me. Yep, it works good. We are in... Oh, accidentally took a screenshot. Damn. All right. See, they are not running custom cars, so everyone is running one of the n normal cars tonight. So I am joining that. Um. Yep. I haven't... Honestly, I don't know who's... I think the favorite tonight is going to be... I think Ward's Rule... Tampax and GS. I think those three are gonna run well tonight. I just have a feeling that GS just is good. He's good in 2020. I feel like I feel like he's gonna run well tonight. It's just my feeling. And Rock is watching GS. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we are gonna. All right, they are gonna do wrap around, and then they're gonna. Presumably, I'm gonna think they're gonna park on the back stretch, but they might park it on the little road, single lane road. Um, see, five car Tampex, 18 of Wit, 
13 is going to be, that is actually King tonight. He made us up here speed. That's going to be King. This is Jay Lutz in the 73. This is Ford Farm, Gear Getter in the 22, T-Bone in the 19. already Tampex. I am in. <laughs> we are good. All right. So first up is going to be Pure Splash in the 42 car. Kyle Larson, the old car. And 2020. See Pure Splash is out of your star. Q is in the 49 Chad Fincham machine. Tommy Guns is in the 8 car. Rogue Metal, of course, is in the 12 car of Ryan Blaney. You see Ward's Rule is going to be in the 16, which that's a pro driver's car, right? Yeah, I don't know the numbers. That's good, Rich in the seven. He is actually really quick in these old gen. We were running some laps earlier at Iowa, and he's pretty quick. The kid in the zero zero, Chunk Seal. Honestly, been having a pretty good season. Honestly, I, I'm kind of impressed by Chunk. He's been running pretty well in ARL, so he looks to continue his strong season. You see Ding in the 24. They are just now finishing up their quality laps for the first group. Alright, they're now setting up group number two, which is going to include Gear Getter, T-Bone, the series owner. I mean, he's had a pretty good season. I think he's almost a lock to make the playoffs currently. He's top seven and top ten in points. You see Short Dog and the 43 machine. GS and the 41 of and the 41 machine as well. I think that's was that Cole Custer? Yes, that was Cole Custer back in 2020. I have not run these cars in a little bit, so I do not know all of the drivers, etc. So I apologize. But by the end of the night, you should know all the drivers, especially in this league. Main ones to watch, as I told you before, it's gonna be Tampax, GS, and then the newcomer Ward. I've run with him in multiple in that league before. He's quick in the old gen. NASCAR Mike is also another one to watch. He's pretty quick in these cars. Goodrich always gonna be a show. He's either gonna be way aggressive or he's gonna be up there fighting for the lead. That's his motto, honestly. He's a really aggressive driver, but when he's on it, he's a very quick driver as well. The kid ripping him in the lower series. I don't have expectations i don't know how we run here but we'll see he's in the zero zero machine of quinn Half. <laughs> oh i remember that season he was horrible jay lutz just finished up his run in the 73 toyota camry i think they are are they now rolling it let me get over to tampax you see pingo torch I don't know if I've run with him before. It's Mike currently beating out his counterpart, NASCAR Mike, in the point standing. So he's trying to prove who's the best Mike in the series. <laughs> I don't know if they actually have the competition, but we'll see. See, Ward's ruined now, running his qualifying lap in the 16 forward. I like for him and Tampax to just battle all night. I 
I haven't seen most of these people on this racetrack. Good rich around. You see Tempex passing Sting and qualifying that that is not a good sign for Sting. <laughs> he is driving the number five machine that is the Pro League car. That is why it's not called Russian Sting. Or uh, back then. I drove that car back then. You see he's running that yellow line. That is the line you want, especially for tire wear and just speed. Like if you can run that white yellow line, you're quicker. I think he is done with his qualifying lap. Um. All right, yeah, they're about to finish up qualifying. We're gonna see lap times here very soon. Yep, qualifying is now done. The winner of the qualifying lobby is Ford Farms. So, good for him. This uh, qualifying lap will tell the story of who's quick, who's not, and who's gonna be running up, up front tonight, because this track is, unless you can save your tires, it's more about saving your tires than anything at this track. Long run and being consistent is the key here. Because tire wear is strong here if you run that outside lane for a majority of the laps. So on pole is going to be Tampex and like I said, GS and Ward. Ward in second, GS in third. I, those th I told you those three are going to be the ones to watch tonight. I told you before, but those three are the ones to watch. We're going to have on pole is going to be Tampex. So back here, the five machine. Then you have Ward Rule, 23.1. Jesus Christ, he ran a three. Okay, I won't say a comment on that. Then you see GS in third. The kid, the newcomer from the below series, he's up to fourth, qualified fourth. That's a good run, qualifying effort by him. Wit in fifth. Back in sixth, going to be Goodrich. Uh, seventh's going to be, it's Mike. And I'm going to back out. I'm going to let him start it and... Uh... Uh, I'm trying to get more, uh, I'm trying to get uh, seventh. After seventh, it's going to be It's Mike. And seventh's going to be It's Mike. Uh, I'm trying to get GS to scroll real quick. Uh, can you go up? So, where's ninth? So, yeah. I followed. So, there's going to be Pure Splash in ninth. It's going to be Chunk in eighth. And I am waiting for the invite. Okay. Uh, Tempex has sent me another invite. All right. We are going to join that. Uh, I apologize for uh, being delayed on that uh, starting order. Um, I was talking to my in-car. <laughs> All right, uh, we are good to go. Uh, they're going to go green off the start. It's going to be 140 laps. Fuel run, I'm going to check out GS's stream, but it should be. I think the first two stages, we might have one pit stop during this first stage. That means it. Uh, GS, no! <laughs> I think I just screwed GS. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Ah, I'm in. Alright, here they go. On board with the number five machine. Here they go. Green. Oh, they're already wrecking the back off lap one. That is not a good way to start. So off lap one, just like the DPS race, we had a huge pileup. He 
Tampex. Tampex out to the lead. You see the 41 machine three wide for the lead right now. I think they're racing back to the line. Is Tampex going to ride this middle lane? He's going to be able to beat him back to the line. We will see if they start pacing, but the fuel run is 26 laps. Yes, they are pacing. So Tampex holds on to the lead. As you saw, 41 already made it three wide on the first lap. See Wit in fourth. Dude Chief. I don't know who, the cars involved. I saw the 66 go around back there. Yeah. Chunk seal on pit road, the 51 machine. 73, I think, was involved. Yeah, he's got massive front end damage. Just seemed like a pile up off lap one. Someone either missed a shift. I think someone's staying out. Yeah, 24 of Sting is gonna stay out. I mean, it's something. I mean, they haven't run laps on the tires, but I just don't like staying out. Especially this early when everyone else is going down pit road. You see Star back here. The 11 car of NASCAR Mike has front end damage, so he's probably involved in that wreck. 32 as well. I go up. Colton plays. What the heck is that type of car? Oh, GS is going to lose a spot on pit road to T-Bone, who probably did a strategy. So your leader is going to be the 24, prospectively, with the five car of Tampax right behind him. I don't... All right. I think they're going to choose choose Cone at the line. I'm going to get the lap count when they cross the line this time by. Um, Nothing's really changed in this top three so far. The only really change is T-Bone who did a pit strategy in the 42 machine. Sorry if I don't know numbers tonight. Um, I think Pingo may have missed it. Not Pingo. They have already started. I apologize to anyone who got here late. Light Violet, you have... Said five to seven minutes, damn it. Ah. Here they go. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The 24 was supposed to be the leader, but Tampex beat him to the line. I don't know what the 24 was doing. As you see, uh, Ward just trying to get through this pack now. It's a lot of cars. See, Ward makes some contact with Sting. You see that five car just gap in the field right now because of this stack up between them. See, 41 finally gets to the inside. You see Witt making it three wide back there. You see Witt trying to make some moves. They're getting loose back there. Almost a wreck, but they save it. Tampex is gone, and Sting is still... Oh, he wants a ride. Keeps it out of them. You see Witt up to third. Witt's making some moves right now. Trying to get his way up to second place. He's got some speed in that 18 Toyota. There are four wide back there. We're going to go back here. Oh, dude chief in the wall. Oh, 12 car. Oh, my gosh. They're making some hella contact back here. Some rough driving back there. But if we look in the front, Tampex is gone by almost a full straightaway. But we're going to go back to second place. I'm trying to get up to him. I apologize. There's a battle for second place right now. Oh, they almost wreck. Oh, 19 hits the 42. They're making some contact. Three wide back here. 11, 12, and 3. That is King right there. There's Forward Farms. Oh, 43 slow. T Bone, who did the strategies. Short dog at the end of the stick. Pico Torch right there. We're trying to get up to the front again. All right, we're going back to 
Words Rule, who's currently in second place. We gotta see if he can catch this five car of Tampex. Up here. Ooh, 41 got loose right there. He saved it luckily. So that's a good save by GS. Who's being hunted by the seven of Goodrich and the 42. I'm unsure who's loading the 42 right now. I apologize. Chunks has lagged out officially. Pure splash in the 42. That is pure splash. You see the three wide back there. T Bone and Company. You see, it's Mike just chilling right behind him. This is for around currently 10th place, I'm pretty sure. See Star making some moves up there. He's up to six. Oh, they're wrecking the back 24 around. Oh, they're flipping. I sorry, I can't get to a good camera, but they were flipping in the background. That's gonna be a caution. Yeah, that hurts the 24 who was on a pitch strategy and they flipped and everything. You see Rogue involved. Don't look now, GS is getting challenged, but that's gonna be a caution at the line. Yep, they have caught it. So, that helps T-Bone a lot. If he's still inside this top 10, which I think he still is. That helps him massively. Yes, he is. He held on just inside the top 10 there. So this helps Tebow massively. And you see, look there, the eight car. He's running pretty well right now in stage number one. So when they come out of pit road, they're gonna have 22 to go. They're gonna have 20 to go when they go green. So they're gonna be good on fuel. But can their tires last? That's the question. They get around 27 lots of fuel. Tires for GS are wearing pretty bad on the right rear. That's where you're dependent on on this track. The right rear is really gonna wear much worse than your right front. Beer splash. Jay Lutz in the 73 machine. She Sting. Rogue, NASCAR Mike, someone's out already and I am unable to get a camera right now. I don't know what's going on with my camera. He's Tampax, getting right out before Ward. And third's going to be the Wit. Ooh, they're making some contact back there. That's going to be pure splash in. What number is it? We're going to choose cone at the line this time by, so it's going to be 21 to go. We're on 19 laps to go for stage number one at Iowa Motor Speedway. Honestly, this place provides some good racing. See, it's Mike back there, the 49 of Star, 7 car of Goodrich, and then the 42 of Pure Splash. So it is a competitive field tonight. I'm impressed because... A lot of guys I know, a lot of guys that you guys should know as well if you run and watch my streams before. So I expect some good racing. We haven't even seen Goodwrench up here yet. He started around 6 or 7, so expect him to be up front tonight as well. Alright, here we go. We're going to go on board with, its war with Ward's rule for this restart. It's 16 machine. There you go until that guy car restarts on. There isn't actually a sign. It's that little red dot right there. You see it right there? Bottom controls and you see Tambets gets a good launch over Wit. Can Ward clear Wit going into one? He could not, but he's right up beside him. So he sh if he gets a good corner, he hits the apron. So he's not going to clear Wit. So Wit's going to take over second place. You see GS is trying to follow right behind. And Ward's not going to be able to clear GS. See Pure Splash inside the top five. He hits the apron a little bit, so he's going to slide up, and that's going to give Star some room to get up inside the top five. He hits the wall. Side by side for third place. You see Wit's already clear of them, with only 18 to go in stage number one. Side by side still for third place. If they battle like this, they're going to lose second place of Wit. You see Wit's trying to catch that leader. See Pure Splash also trying to get around these guys as well. He wants to get up inside the top five, top three. 
Sujia stuck on the outside lane. That's not where you want to be, especially this early on with only 17 to go in stage number one. You see Goodrich trying to gain some positions as well. Actually, Wit and Tampex are actually pulling away from Ward right now. So that is surprising. So Wit got up to second place, and now he's keeping up with the five car of Tampex, which we know Wit's been up there a lot this season. Oh, Tampex hit the wall a little bit. So Wit's going to gain some time. He's going to run that outside lane. That's not where you want to be. You eat up your tires up there. But he might get the runoff. He's got that draft. Big, a lot of cars back here. Just a jumble of cars back here. This is insane back here for like around 15 or 60. Just a jumble of cars. We're going to go up to the front again. Wit's still up here running that high lane. If we look back here, I think Pure Splash has officially got around. I think he's got around. Someone with, got contacted in the wall. Yes, Pure Splash has officially got around that 41 of GS, who's fallen all the way back to around 7th place. With only 14 to go in stage number one, you see there are three wide back there. I think that's T-Bone and someone else trying to get back to them. No, that's a three car. Three car 13 of King. There are three wide. T-Bone on the outside. I'm going to keep watching this. They're battling hard. Oh, they're going to make some contact. Ooh, luckily, they do not wreck, so they keep it green. Told you Goodrich knocking on that. He's already inside the top five. He's knocking on fourth place right now. Pure Splash's door. See Star making his way through the field as well. Some heavy contenders back here who we know are going to be up front at the end of this race. I'm going to go up to the front again. We see Tampex has, honestly, he's starting to pull on weight. That's what I'm starting to see right now. I don't think Wit's keeping up as well as he was early in this stage. And I'm actually looking back, Pure is actually catching that 16 machine. If he doesn't hit the wall back there. You see Goodrich also catching him. The downside of the run in the outside lane is that you burn up your tires very quickly. Oh, Star hit the wall back there for around sixth place. So Goodrich up to fifth place after starting around eighth or ninth tonight. So he is having a good run so far. He always tends up to be near the front of this field. With only nine to go in stage number one. We will get the order. Nine to go. Oh, Pure gets loose, and that's going to be another position for Goodrich. Up to place. You see GS is hunting back there with Star. Star has also been a big mover so far early in this race. So only eight to go in stage number two. Can Goodrich get up to third? Yeah, GS is going to make a move on that 42 machine. You see him making a move on the 42 right now. A uh, pure splash who's used up his tires by running that outside and inside lane by driving it in too hard. That's what I'm starting to realize. He was pushing it really hard early in that run. You see they're coming up on some lap cars. You see the 24 who did that pit strategy early and got wrecked from it. Sadly going to go a lap down this early in this race. You see they finally... Finally, GS gets around that 42 of Pure Splash, so he's up to fifth place for stage number one. So, overall in all, biggest mover so far, Goodrich. Biggest dropper so far from what I've seen is going to be probably Pure Splash on this long run. He's dropped a lot of positions on this long run. So he's definitely got to make an adjustment, get his car built for the longer run, because that's what you want, for, especially at this track. And if we don't look now... The 16 is catching that 18 of Wit. As I told you earlier, Wit was running the outside and the inside lanes, so he's losing time. He uses tires up with only five to go. He uses tires up trying to catch that five car of Tampex, so I don't know if he has any tire left. We gotta see how Wit handles this.
as he's on worn tires, he's probably getting loose out of the corner, and the 16 is cutting you down on your bumper, basically. I think Tampax essentially is gone. You see the 43 getting lapped right now. So that's not a good sign for the 24. Oh, it almost hits the wall there. And Will's going to get the run here. Is he going to make the move? We got to see how well he runs his bottom lane coming out of the corner. No, he's not going to be able to make the move yet. Is he going to have the inside coming to one? He does not. So Witt's going to hold on for another lap and a half with only three to go. But I think Ward's going to get around him. There's, not, there's only so many laps to go in this stage. I think Tampex has officially won this stage unless he wrecks it himself. They've flapped the 66 as well. With only two more to go in stage number one. There's a good battle for second. You see, if you don't look now, Goodrich is hunting down these top, this second and third place car right now. He's catching, oh, Ward gets loose back there. So that leaves it open for Goodrich, who's coming and coming. He's getting closer and closer every single lap. With white flag for stage number one. Been a good race so far up front, especially. You see Goodrich trying to make the move on the inside. Side by side for fifth place. Good battle for fifth right now. Ooh, Goodrich is going to try to clear. Can 16 go up and under? No, he's going to hit the apron, and Goodrich is going to get up to fourth place for third place for stage number one. Tampax won the stage with Witt right behind him, and in third place is going to be the th seven car of Goodrich, and fourth place is going to be Ward, and fifth place is going to be GS. Star gets up to six. Pure falls all the way back to seventh, and eighth place is going to be it's Mike, and the three car I I can't see because of his face cam. <laughs> I'm trying to get up to... Who's in the three car? It's gonna be Prime. Do Prime, we know him from ODRO as well. Do Prime's in the three car. And then in 10th place is gonna be Piero King, or Piero Speed, as he wants to be called tonight on his old account. So, what I saw there? Long run. I saw three cars who were really good in the long run. Of course, the leader. Good wrench. I saw speed out of him on the long run. And GS, who actually, after falling back, he actually caught back up to these guys. So, those are three main contenders to watch. If Ward needs to get a setup, if Ward gets a setup in, though, he's strong. We know Witt is strong, but his tires were worn out last run, so he needs to do something to his setup to get good on the long run. You see, Goodrich, we know Goodrich, the seven car, is very quick as well. If he can get up in clean air, I expect him to challenge this five car of Tampax. Ooh. They're going to make it three wide back there. I'm trying to get back to them. So Witt is up to second again. You see Goodrich up to third. You see 16 three on the outside of a three wide situation. They do clear that. So this is a battle for fifth right here. You see Pure Splash. You see 49 as well. Yeah, Witt up to second. And that's going to be able to clear him. 16 clears the 41 of GS and he's going to go for third. He hits the four, seven car of Goodrich. That's going to cost him a lot of time. They're going to lose time to wit and that's probably going to cost him the draft up there. Unless GS can get back up there. But Goodrich is holding it up on that outside very strong. He's actually going to be able to clear GS almost. Yeah, he's going to clear GS. You see the, oh, they're flipping it back. There's a wreck, huge wreck in the back of the field. We're going to continue on here. We saw that flip. There's probably going to be a caution. They're racing back to the line for num stage number two. Battling hard up here, you see Goodrich up to third. They're still side by side back there. You see the 42 of Pure Splash. He's really good on that short run, I will say. Yes, they are pacing with 28 to go in stage number two. If they pit, I think. Oh, three car around. Someone went around. Under caution, someone went around. Yeah, three car of Do Prime spinning around with Do it's Mike. That's gonna be very costly for those two drivers. That's not what you want to see from. That's not what you want to have happen under caution for Do Prime and it's Mike who just got caught up in the crossfire. Um, 
I mean, Goodrich is up here now. It's now or never for him. If he if he wants to get up there, he wants to fight for this win, he's got to get past this 18 of Wit, who we know is content with running in second currently. I think we have one person staying out. We have two people, three people staying out right now. I am going to get those numbers, the 0-0 zero, zero of It's the Kid. You see the 12, they're getting their lads back. I think, I don't know what's going on with the kid. I think he's the leader. So he is going to be the leader, I'm pretty sure. Let's see Wit on his pit stall already. Goodwrench, the number seven machine. Ran with him earlier, running some laps with him and it's all a bull. He's pretty good here. He's coming out with wit. Ooh, GS is gonna beat. He's gonna beat the seven car out of pit road. That's gonna be an excellent pit stop by his pit crew. Pure splash. He's gonna be currently sixth, if I'm not wrong. I think there was a car who stayed out on the track. Which is going to be the 0 0 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 0 0 is your leader. Dude, choose come this time by. You see, GS is going to start up right behind that 0 0, try to push him across that line with only 26 to go. So, they're right on that line for fuel. Now, if you're up front, you're probably going to be pushing it, but if you're in the back, you save that fuel. Try to save your fuel. Try to make the whole run. If you can make it, you're probably going to get good stage points. But it's a lot harder on controller. And it's a lot harder said than done to save in these cars. These cars are a little bit better. I think you don't actually, you might not have to save because these cars are actually dead on with their fuel. But you might want to save a little bit just to be 100% sure. But we'll see. Zero zero controls. We are going in the restart zone. How good, how good of a launch does this 0-0 zero zero get? How good of a launch does this 5 car of Tampex, who hasn't lost a lead tonight, by the way. Oh, 0-0 zero zero gets a good launch, 5 does not, and 41's going to clear that 5 car of Tampex. That's going to get him up to second. How quickly can this 41 get around this 0-0? Zero zero? You see, Witt's going to make it 3 wide. Witt's going to clear this 5 car as well. Two cars around Tampex at the beginning of this restart. Tampex is going to sit it in there. Can the 41 clear the 0-0? Zero zero? See Witt running that high lane. He's gonna do that runoff. My question is, when do they get it? Who, who's gonna get around the 0 0 first? They're gonna go three wide for first place. It's a good battle up here. 0 0 on older tires. Witt's gonna be able to clear all three of them. Witt to the lead. What a strong start for Witt. We, but on the outside lane, your tires get weird quicker. 41 of GS on Witt's inside. Does Tampex make it three wide? Does he make it interesting here? If GS gets at the bottom, I knew I knew it was going to happen. Tampest is going to take that inside lane from GS. No, he's not. GS is going to be able to clear him side by side down the back stretch. Ooh, 7 makes a little bit of contact with a 0 0 of the kid. It's going to cost him some time. You see 42 of Pure Splash. They're 3 wide. Went into the wall. They have 22 to go in stage number 2. Good battle for the lead. I, I think Tampax can be able to clear him off this corner. That run off the high side is insane, but GS is going to try to hold that inside lane as quick as he can. Yeah, Tampax is going to be able to clear him off this corner for the final time, and GS is going to fall back to second. Tampax back to lead with only 40 21 to go in this stage, number two. You see Goodrich back up to third. He gets a little tight. He's probably going to almost hit that wall. He does not hit it, luckily. We saw a little bit of a fight on that restart. I was impressed by GS. He got a good start off that, so that was a very strong restart. We got to see him catch back up to this five car. I need to see someone contending with this five car on the long run. I need to see someone bring it to him. Come on, boys. You guys can do it. With only 20 to go. Second and third battling right now. Very hard. You see Witt's going to get able to clear the 41, but 41's going to get that run off on the inside lane. Could try to side draft the most likely. They're gonna have 19 to go for stage number two. Good battle. You see, we're gonna go back to third place, presumably. We're gonna go back to fourth place. I'm s sorry, these damn cameras. There's a big cluster of cars right here. You see Ward all the way back to fifth after running, after starting in second place. You see the 32. We got a new 
front runner in the field. 32 of Ford Farm makes a little bit of contact with Ward, but he's up to f almost fifth place. He's moving his way through the field right now. Someone who I didn't recognize and a new driver in here, but he's running pretty well right now, especially for a newcomer. And uh, officially, Wit has Wit is battling. They are battling for the lead right now, for second place. No, GS has fallen off, all the way back to losing it to uh, Goodwrench right now. I know Ward's rule made some adjustments to his car most likely at the stage break, so I expect him to be better on the long run this run. He's gonna make a move on GS heading into one and two. There is 16 to go in stage number two. Good battle, you see Wit still running that top line up front in second place. Ooh, it's Mike gets loose back there, almost spins it out but saves it. 49 is gonna try to get around that 32 of Ford's farm. For presumably around 6th or 7th. I think that's 6th currently. Yeah, that is currently 6th place. But on the back half of this run, GS usually picks it up. That's what I've seen from this car. His car picks it up on the back half of the run. I saw it last time. He was able to gain up, get up to 5th last time. So I expect him to catch back up, presumably. He's got the pace. You see... Tampax is basically pulled away from the field with only 14 to go in stage number two. I told you before, Tampax is the dog in this league, presumably. He does win a lot of races in here, so he's the one that if you're going to pick anyone, he's the one to pick. But I want to see someone upset him tonight, so I'm hoping Goodrich or Ward can upset him. They're having a good battle for here for third place right now. for third place. Good side-by-side -side action between these two. CGS just looking on. See they are catching Wit. Wit's still not out of closing distance. They still have second place in their grasp. First place is just gone right now. But they can still battle for second place for stage number two. Twelve laps to go in this stage as well. You see Wit almost hits the wall, gets loose. Is War going to make the move here? No, he's going to make the move. It's just going to be on the inside lane, trying to make it smooth. Does Goodrich make it three wide? Yes, he does. Three wide for second place. Good battle right here. Does this give room for GS to get up here? As they continue to battle, three wide again in turn one. Witt's going to have that outside lane. Can he hold it? Oh, he gets loose. Oh, well, I was telling you earlier, GS is going to be able to capitalize on this mistake by Ward and GS by Ward and Witt, who's getting loose on the outside lane. You see Goodrich gets loose for the first time, and Katongtax Ward, who's just getting unlucky right now. He's getting caught up in everyone's business. It's unlucky for him, but this is very, this is what GS wanted. This is what GS wants for stage number two. He wants to get up here as quick as he can. Ooh, he's going to make a little bit of contact with GS. They are almost done with stage number two. They have around 11 to go. They have nine to go for stage number two. You see the 32 still holding on tight back there for sixth place. He is actually, I'm thinking he's starting to gain on Ward. He probably have presumably some damage. And they're still battling for second. You see Witt on the high lane again. He's getting loose off the corner every single lap. He's gonna fall all the, all the way back to fourth most likely. I told you earlier that high lane is fast. But the tire wear is ridiculous. They are pacing. I think there's a caution. Back here, 0-0 zero, zero has massive damage. I think they are pacing. There's a caution. What about seven to go? So that changes everything for stage number two. That's gonna restart them with about five to go. And on this short run, I think anyone can win it. I don't just think Tampax will win it if the stage if it's on a short run. 24 in the 66 getting their last back. Wrapping around. They only got 8 to go in stage number 2. I want to see what these guys make adjustments on their car. Because they're definitely going to have to do something to change it up. Because I feel like if they don't do anything, this 5 car is just going to pull away every single run. I want to see what they do. It's going to be fun to watch. I want to see this restart, especially I want to see if this five yard gets a good jump. 
platform. Most likely, on some, unless someone takes two tires, like a madman. Ooh. Yep. All right. So I don't know who's gonna come out second. It's gonna be Goodrich. Goodrich up to second now. That's good news for Goodrich. He finally has cleaner. If he picks the top lane, he's gonna have cleaner. If he picks the bottom, he's gonna be right behind Tampex. Which, if Tampex is the leader, you push him out, push him up the track, and try to get the stage two win. Or you follow him, finish second, or presumably make a move on him cleanly. Of course. I was just talking about my ass. You don't have to make a move and touch him. Pass him cleanly. That's Goodrich's goal. Let's see if Tempest can hold on for the stage when they're going to do cheese cone at the line, presumably, for stage number two. They're going to go green with about six to go. You see, Goodrich is going to follow that five car. GS is going to go up the top with Wit. You see the four, 32 of Ford going on the bottom lane with King as well, with its mic right behind him. Uh, right behind GS is going to be the three of Dew Prime, who we know drives an ODRL. Then we have the... Is that the... That's... I don't know. That's a 16 on the bottom lane. My apologies. I made a mistake there. That's the 16 of Ward and third on the bottom. They're agreeing with basically five to go for stage number two. There are going to be no more cautions. So this is to the finish for stage number two. Does Tampex get a good launch? How good of a launch does Wit have? We know he's strong in the short run. And they go in the restart zone. Green and green. You see Goodrich gets a good start as well. Can he clear that 18? If he can clear that 18 coming to one, he could contain it with the five car. Ooh, he's not going to do it. Tempest. Yes, he is. Goodrich to second. Goodrich up to second place. Oh, they're wrecking the back. Oh, did he come off the track? No, he did not. Luckily, they did not have a big incident back there. Tampex already gone. With only four to go in stage number two. Goodrich slides up the track a little bit. Luckily, he does not hit that wall. And you see Ward up to second place. Oh, eight car gets loose back there. Almost wrecked everyone. They're battling up here for second place. Good battle between these around seven cards right here. Three to go in stage number two. You see Duke Prime just hanging back, sitting back, trying to make some moves. He's gonna actually break there, give some room. Good chief back here. You see Tampax already gone. Good rich in second place. We're coming to two to go for stage number two. You see side by side for fifth place right here. Good battle up here between this top five. This is for food place. It's been pretty clean between these top five drivers. Top five or six drivers have been really clean up here. I haven't seen many dirty racing. Just a lot of looseness on the long run. What you expect in these Gen 6 cars, especially when you're on the Highland. Which trying to make the move on. Goodrich still side by side for fifth place. They are just battling hard up here. Side by side, two rows deep with only the white flag in stage number two. With only one to go in stage number two. You see Goodrich up to second. You see, Ward's trying to get that run as well. Trying to follow Goodrich to third. Can he get that run off the corner? No, he gets loose and he's going to fall back to fourth. That was a good stage. Tampex. I just. My pick to win it is Tampex. I just don't. I haven't seen anything out of everyone else. I need to see someone get up there on the long run and challenge him. When I see that, I will officially pick someone else. But until I see Goodrich, Wit, Wards, GS, I need to see them get to his bumper or get to him and battle him. I need to see that once you challenge Tampex, I think you guys can keep up there. You guys just need to get to him first. Do not let him pull away. I think it'll be a good battle. Uh, sixth place, top five is going to be Tampex, Goodrich, Wit, Wards, GS in fifth, Do Prime in sixth. This is going to be Ford Farm. King is going to be in 8th, and then back there in ninth and 10th is going to be It's Mike and the newcomer from the lower series. Oh, Corbo has decided to do a pit strategy. Two tires stop for the 20 machine. He's been stuck in the back all race, so this could work out for him if it, if it 
it goes well. But he's already th stuck three wide. And that's going to cost him. They're making contact with Corbo, and Corbo's going to get knocked all the way back. Wits gets loose back there. They're three wide back here. Chaotic. You see Ward's rule trying to get up to second place. This is not what you want at the start of this stage as well. This is just going to let Tampax pull away. They're still three wide back here. This is insane battling back here. Three wide. Goodrich trying to get up to second place, but Witt's going to be tough on that outside lane. Ooh, oh, Witt gets loose. Makes some contact. You see Ward's going on the inside of Goodrich. They have 66 to go, so presumably one more stop in this race. You see the four wide back there. Oh, they're making some battles back here. The kid, my bad, I apologize to him. I, I forgot your name for a second. You see Pure Splash, who's running out, up inside the top five earlier. Got loose back there. Ooh, 49 star, gets very loose, almost wrecks the kid. Luckily they save it back here. Good battle. For about seventh back here. See 41 of, of GS Battle, 20 car of Corvo, who's honestly keeping up here pretty well, because he took two tires. Now nah, he's in the wall. Oh, it's Mike in the wall as well. Oh, he gets sort of super loose. Do prime back here as well. Pure splash of three wide back here. NASCAR Mike, Kiero King, and then the 66 of. I apologize for names. I these are not the normal cars. You see, we have three. Lagouts do cheap as in 66. I apologize, my man. Just, I am not good with names. You see the seven car of Goodrich up to second place. They're, and see Ward gets up to fourth, second, third place as well. So the 18 has fallen back two spots after hitting the wall. GS is right behind him as well. You see Duke Prime always hanging tough up there. Always a good run for him. 41 trying to make a move on that 18 machine. Probably made some contact with him. I don't know though. No, I think uh, Witt just got very loose there. His car is very loose on this long run. See, Corvo is holding tough up there in that 20 machine. He's been running ever since he started the restart. He was back there around 12, and now he's up inside the top 10, basically. Sixth place currently, holding on to it very well. You see Duke Prime, Star, and Seventh. You see the leader has pulled away already. Battling for second place, see Ward trying to get up to second. He's been making his way through the field in this third stage so far. I've seen him make his way past Witt, past Ward, past Goodrich. Now up to second place. Can he catch up to this five car of Tampax who is gone? And actually Goodrich has brought it back. Goodrich is fine on the outside lane. Battling hard right now. Goodrich up to... Battling hard for second place. You see GS being brought into this battle. That's what happens when you battle like this. You bring other cars into it. Oh, they make some contact up here. Oh, 16 almost into that wall. Luckily he saves it. Their Corbus getting loose back there. Oh, they almost wreck it. 42 in the wall. They save it. No wreck. They save the cars. No wreck. Rogue saves it as well. So that's going to be no caution, presumably. The leader is gone. Ooh, that 32 is running at high. They're three wide back there. Sorry, I'm going to take a little break. My voice is basically dead. So we're going to go on board with uh, the 42 of some sheer splash.
A commercial break, and we are back, and you have seen it here first. GS up to second, has passed Goodrich. They're still, still containing up here. Goodrich does make a little bit of contact, but GS up to second place. As I said earlier, GS is good in these 2020 cars. He knows how to service tires. He knows how to run these tracks, and he's just one to watch here. Always one to watch. I told you earlier, Ward is also one to watch. The kid making a move on Dew Prime, trying to get clear of him. I don't think anyone has pitted yet. I think, I don't know where Tampex is, but he is almost a, probably a full straightaway now. I'm gonna try to get over to his point of view. Yeah, he's about a full straightaway ahead of these guys. So essentially, what you need to do is a pit strategy. These top three, four, five guys need to do a pit strategy. You need to do something to catch up to this five car if you want to win this race. Now, they have 51 to go. Fuel runs about 27 to 20, 27 laps. So they're gonna probably hit the pit twice and they can't fuel save in this league. So expect two more pit stops tonight. We haven't had green flag pit stops because of incidents during this race, but we should have some green flag pit stops very soon. As long as they can hold on to their cars. You see Goodrich back up to second place. You see Ward catching up to these three. They've actually pulled away from Wit, who we saw earlier. The kid is actually all over Wit now. You see Ward hits the wall. The kid is pulling, catching up to these guys. Yeah, the kid is making some moves right now. This car looks really strong at that long run, that zero zero machinery. CGS making another move on this seven car of Goodrich right here. Tied into turn one. Gonna run that yellow line. You'd love to see it. He's gonna be able to clear that seven car who makes a little bit of contact with the wall. Not too much. Good battle up here. I would watch I would watch the leader, but it's just clean air. Like, there's nothing to watch over here. This man is just gone. They're now coming out of 1 and 2 now. They're just now coming out of 1 and 2. That's how far the lead is right now. But this battle for second is just so fun to watch right now. It's such a good battle between Goodrich, GS. Just look at this. Wit back into the fight. Oh, GS in that wall. He's gonna lose a lot of time. He's gonna lose two spots. From that one mistake, all the way down to fourth, fifth actually, because I forgot the leader is technically Tampax. I think it's Mike is pitting this time by. So that's gonna leave Kidrich, honestly, with a sizable gap now. He's in clean air now. He's gone away from the pack a little bit because of that incident between GS and them. So he's the leader of this group. He's honestly quite a bit of the ways and wit and Oh there's a wreck in the back! It's kid goes around! Does anyone hit its kid? I don't think anyone will. So it's kid, after running a terrific race, is gonna wreck himself by accident, get loose off the corner. That's gonna suck for him. That's probably gonna cost him the race. Still good battle up here. He's gonna be hoping for a caution in these next 10 to so laps. So they get lapped twice. Good battle for the top five. Still, oh. You see Ward gets a little loose up here. So GS trying to get up back upside. Yeah, trying to get up to fourth again. Trying to try to clear Ward he is, so he's up to fourth again. You see Wit. Wit's pitting this time by. He's gonna slide up in front of GS. That's not what you want to see. That is not a good pit stop by him. That's gonna cost him a lot of time. GS just got screwed over by them. You see Wit. That's, that's. Wit, Goodwrench, and Ward have pitted. All of those three cars have pitted. I am gonna go to the leader. Where is Tampex? Tampex is pitting this time by. So Tampex is on pit road now. So those, all those three cars pitted together. Now I think that's gonna cost, just off of what happened to GS, that's gonna cost him some time because of that incident up there. 
But he is your leader currently. He has one lap of fuel left and he has some damage because of that incident. So he's coming down pit road this time by. You see Dude Prime coming down with him as well. They roll for pit road, run that apron, entering turn three and four. So you're supposed to ride around it. That's not what we did. So that's probably gonna be a drive. I will we'll monitor that after the race, but that did cause GS around five to six seconds, which is going to hinder him massively. But as we look in the lead, we're going to get over to the leader. We're going to go over to Tampex's point of view. We're going to try it over to get over to Tampex's point of view. This is when you, if we have a caution right now, this is when you're going to see a lot of cars get lapped or unlapped. out of pit road your leader is currently still the 32 machine of Ford who just came down pit road so so Tampax just took over the lead you see Wit still battling Ward you see Goodrich now that 41 is already out of pit road I gotta see where this 41 comes out because he kind of got screwed over there he's about yeah he's about a straight away behind those guys now which he should have been right behind them. He's with King and them who pitted very early. See, it's Mike up here as well. So the 41 machine, we should watch out for him. He's gonna try to be making moves. This last 50 or so laps, 39 laps to go, my bad. So Gidrich up to second place, maybe not. I'm unsure, let me check. Ooh, 24 in the wall back there. I don't know if the 42 is on the strategy. I don't think he's up there, but we'll check real quick. Good battle up here. Ward and Wit just dueling right now for around, I'm presumably third place. Some guys that I expect to be really strong tonight that aren't producing as much as I thought they were. I'll be honest with you, I expected Star to be a lot stronger tonight than he was. I also expected NASCAR Mike to run a lot better than he has. He's still running strong. He's almost inside the top 10. He is going to be top 10 after this pass on Corbo. But it was he's been running decent. Do Prime as well. He's been running very solid tonight. I wouldn't call it an outstanding run, but he's just been solidly inside the top 10 all night. So he's having a good run. in the back, Corbo wrecks the 24. 24 does not hit anyone. So that will not be a caution, presumably. Gonna keep it green. Gear Getter has lagged out. Short Dog has lagged out. Pino Torch has lagged out. So we have a lot of lags outs tonight. That does suck for them. We see we got some lap traffic up here. Is your leader they have one more pit stop to go in this race to see wit is third place currently so wit is battling he just fell back to fourth so this is your top three this is your top five right here second third and fourth and ecgs is back he's back up to fifth but he's about six seconds down because of the incident between those three cars so i will probably review that because that should be reviewed because that was rough by one of these three cars someone on the track oh seven car hits the wall up here Ward's gonna take it try to take it anyways can try up to get up to second place and he's not giving it a clear good so good is gonna get that run on the outside lane
good battle between these two. The outside lane is... It's smooth, but at the same time, your tires wear a lot more on the outside lane than on the bottom. So that's why you don't want to run that outside lane too much. But it is quick for the short run. You can see Goodrich hits the wall a little bit. That's going to make it fall all the way back to the fourth place, presumably, if Wit can get around him. No, he cannot. So Wit's going to be able to he's gonna try to battle with Goodrich for third, fourth place right now. Third place right now. Ooh, three wide for third, second place right now. Good battle between these three. He, Ward does make a little bit of caught of it. Seven, back up to second place. Just FYI, this is for second place. This is a good, really good battle right here. Between three really solid drivers. I wish GS was up here. But, we don't talk about that. This is a good battle between them. I love seeing good drivers battle Ward Wit. And Goodrich, some really solid drivers I've raced a lot with. Not as much reward, but you see it's Mike on pit road, the 48 machine. But I raced with Ward enough that I know he's a solid driver, especially in these 2020 cars. You see Wits trying to make that high line work. Ward's using the preferred inside lane. He cannot clear the 18, so he's going to have to... Going to one and two, try to clear this 18 before off exit. He's gonna do a slide job. Pure splash in front of him is getting very loose up there. I'm gonna get the lap counter when they cross the line time. This time by Wit hits the wall again, so he's gonna fall off a little bit off these second and third right now. So these, so Wit and no. Bad. Ward and Goodwrench are trying to pull away from Wit. And it looks like they can do it. From what I can see. I'm actually seeing the ticker. GS is catching these second, third, and fourth. He's catching these guys right now. He's catching them a little bit. It's all the way down to 4.9. So fifth place is catching these three drivers, but there is no one in s But there's one car ha that no one has seen tonight and has been able to pass. It's that five car of Tempex. Basically been in the lead all night and with only 23 to go and one more pit stop. We could presume if nothing goes wrong, he could win this race. He's been dominant all night. I The only real lead change is off a of pit stop, pit strategy off one driver, and that only hindered him for about a lap and a half. And that was it. They couldn't get past him either. We will see when Tampax come down the pit road. When does he decide it's time to go down pit road? You see the kid, after losing his car, has fallen a lap down, which does suck, but he ran pretty well tonight. Not a disappointing run. I know you lost your car on the long run, but you ran pretty well, so I'd be proud of mess. He ran well tonight. That's my bad. Uh, still a good battle back here, of course. Second place is always a great battle. We know this. These three have been going at it, though. Witt is back up here as well because these top two battling. They lose so much time battling, but it is so fun to watch back here. And honestly... They might get lapped by the end of this thing if they keep battling like this. And I'm not joking either. That's how far Tampax is ahead of these guys right now. Ooh, Goodrich almost makes contact with the wall. I think he does. So Ward up to second. Witt's going to get around Goodrich as well, up for third. So Ward up to second. Witt up to third. And then you see Goodrich back to fourth. So if they pit this time by, they are good on fuel now. They just need to rely on their tires. 20 laps to go in stage number three. And you see, I saw that on his stream. Oh, 42 gets very loose up there. Oh, 42 almost. Oh, pure. Oh, he saved it. Good save by the 42 of pure splash. He was sideways off that corner. This is the time. If your car is loose, this is not. You don't want your car to be loose this long in a run. It's gonna be loose. Gotta hold on to it to you pit. You only got six laps of more, six more laps of fuel. Wait, trying to get up to second place again.
Ooh, Ward gets a little loose there. What's gonna go to his outside? Ward just likes, Wit likes the outside on every track. He's gonna try to get that. Gonna duck it under and turn one and two. Gonna try to use that inside lane, the superior line at this track, but off exit, Ward might get that run. No, Wit is pitting. I'm presumably pitting. Yes, he is. Goodrich is going to beat him on pit road. Oh, he hits the wall. That's going to cost Goodrich time. It might even damage his car. So these three have come down pit road together. GS is staying out. And we're going to go over to the leader now. Star is on pit road as well. Piero King. We go up to the leader who we are trying to get to. I apologize. Tempex is. I think he just came out of pit road. Yep, Tempex just came out of pit road. So he is on fresh tire and zoom in. Let's see NASCAR Mike on pit road. See the A car just following Tempex. Presumably a lap down. Thirty-two of four coming down pit road. Chief, chief, or chief in front of these guys. The sixty-six machine. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm trying to get names. I will get that down by next week, hopefully. If I don't, I apologize. So now we're done with pit stops. Now the question is, here he comes. That's to unlap himself. So, Tampex, but only 13 to go when he gets around. Unless a caution comes out, I think it's smooth sailing for his five Chevy, the five car. The five car, my bad. All right, so Tampex, I'm gonna go over to his, he doesn't have his point of view up tonight, so. Chief Keith over there you see GS just coming out now out of pit road. That's not that's not him, my bad. This be the 32 of Ford. You see these Corbo and the 66 are battling up here. Ooh, they make some contact in front of the leader. That's not what you want to see if you're Tampax. You just want to have a smooth ride to the win. You don't want anything to happen in front of you, you don't want anything to come down on you. There he goes, you get clear of those lappers. I'm gonna go up to this battle. Now, look at this. They're still together here. Now, ooh, 13 gets loose there. My question is, does Wit actually catch the seven car of Goodrich for second place? How much speed does Goodrich have on this short run? This is a very short run this time around. Bunch of cars right here. Star gets around. You see NASCAR Mike making a move on Star for around eighth place right now. NASCAR Mike gonna slide it up. Star is gonna try to get underneath him. He will not. No, he will not. So Star is gonna fall back to ninth place. And NASCAR Mike up to seventh. Eighth, slide eighth place. My bad. Ooh, Rogue gets loose there. Luckily he saves it. So no wreck is gonna happen here. Ford. Dude Chief is the username. You see five car of Tampax right up behind these lappers. They have eight to go for stage number three. Oh, they're making some contact on the inside of the leader. Tampax does not want that happening right in front of him. Caution's cut off with five to go. We saw last time. Three in a row for Tampax if he can win it tonight. Now it's five to go for stage number three. Uh, 
Okay, I am looking now. We're gonna go over to second place currently, because that's where the battle is happening currently. Yeah, Wood has called this seven car of Goodrich. You see, Wood has fallen off. So this is gonna be a battle between those two for second place. Wit and Goodrich. So they have five to go for stage number three. I don't know if I don't know if we can get there. Four to go for stage number three. We're gonna go over to the leader's point of view because that is the one that you wanna watch. The five car, the five car of Tampax and the Chevy motor machine. It's been honestly dominant tonight. Still passing some lap cars over here. Been pretty smooth through these lap cars. Not a lot of honestly, there hasn't been a lot of kit competition up front with him challenging him, but been fun to watch, especially that second place battle. I liked when they challenge they were able to challenge him a little bit. I just don't think anyone can keep up with him tonight. He's got a really good car. His qualifying time was a little bit faster, always getting loose, hit the wall there. This should be if I'm not correct. I'm gonna look at my point of view tonight, but should be two to go. They're coming a white flag next time by for the leader. He's lapping the 32 of four. That should be around eighth place current. Ninth or eighth. Ninth or tenth right now. So he's lapping potentially a tenth place car right now. He lapped star already. Who knows a pretty quick driver. This should be white flag for Tampax. The five car of Tampax. White flag in the air. Coming down. He just wants a clean lap. This is going to be checker when it comes to the line. He just wants a clean lap here. Down the back stretch, into three and four. And Tampax is gonna win in Iowa. And there's a battle, you see. Goodrich is gonna be at hold on to second place. Right behind him is gonna be Wit. And behind them is gonna be the 16 of Ward. And you see 41 of GS is gonna be able to hold on to fifth place. So we are gonna get the top five in here. I'm gonna let him do the deep briefing and I'm gonna get the top five. I will ping at him. All right, we are gonna get him in here real quick. Let me get, let me set up the booth real quick. We are gonna get everyone in here who finished top five. All right. We're gonna try to get everyone in here. Do not include your audio yet. Hello, Ward. Hello, give, give it a second. I'm, we're gonna do interviews. We're gonna do a buy order, fifth place. Right. Jesus! That was a that was a grueling race. Say less. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna. I'm gonna leave the lobby and then I'm gonna. All right. Uh, first. Uh, do we have top five in here? All right, we got top five in here. Um, GS. Uh, make sure to include your audio. Um, I mean, there was an incident coming in pit road there. Uh, I mean, you recovered. Um, you had a decent car tonight. Um, what what do you think tonight, Jess, of your performance? Uh, it was, it was a fun race. Um, a lot of side by side battling with a lot of guys. Clean racing up front, anyways. Um, for the most part. Depth. I didn't practice at all, so good place. I'm cool with it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was loving the battle between you, GS, uh, you, Goodrich, Ward, and Wit. It was just so fun to watch back there. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely fun to watch. I definitely think uh, you could have got second there. 
Or uh, it was just a toss up between you guys, I, honestly. I, you guys were I, like. I stretched the fuel runs, is what I did, and I think I lost a lot of time there. And then I took four tires twice. I'm pretty sure it's to make two. <laughs> I wanted to oh, take man. two at the end, but I knew I stretched it too long, and I had to make up time, and I know I'm going to be able to make up time on two, so. No, there was no uh, two tire taking at all. There wasn't. See, I could have taken two. I had 80 on the list, and I was like, dude, no, because they're going to take two, and then it'll just be. I'll be plateaued. Ah. Uh, yeah. Um, next up, Ward, make sure you include your audio. I mean, Good fourth place, uh, first race in this series, I mean, you ran pretty well. Um, I, I, pit, I honestly had you running pretty well because you're really good in these old gens as well. I know that for personal experience. Um, what do you think of your drive today? I thought it was pretty good. I got into uh, gear a little bit on first stage, but other than that, it's a mostly clean race. Just trying to dodge a lot of traffic it wasn't really fun while well, battling these guys. <laughs> yeah, it was that second place battle was insane. I honestly, it was so fun to watch between you guys. It was just so tight. I had a longer run car, but then after 20 laps, 18 laps, it just died and I'd start falling back. Mm. Of course, um, I fixed it for a 15 lap run. Um, either way, you ran pretty well. Top five is still really good. Uh, good racing, man. Um, next, you can say something if you want to. <laughs> um, next up is gonna be Goodrich. Uh, no, hold on. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, Wit. Um, I mean, another good run. Uh, we had you last time in here, correct? I remember that. Did yeah, we? No, so. we did not. Yeah, we did. Um, another good run. I mean. You pretty much, I think you were, I don't think you got outside the top five tonight, except maybe an incident, but you ran pretty well. Uh, what were your thoughts on the car, and do you think you could have done anything to challenge Tampax tonight? Um, maybe if I knew how to take care of my tires better in the long run. I mean, it's, long run definitely seemed to be my problem, because I would, short run, I would make up a bunch of time, and then it seemed like after like 10, 15 laps, I just started drifting out on the exits every time so it's just better with that and that's what got me on the last few laps is i was on the back of the seven and then i slid a couple of times and that killed me so i definitely not used to how slick the cars are anymore but i enjoyed it yeah i, I yeah it was fun to watch you guys i know if, uh Someone told me this tip early, uh, like yesterday, that if you just run the bottom, it's a lot better for tire wear. Just stick to the bottom no matter what, even if it's slower. <laughs> um, next up is gonna be your second place finisher. Uh, good wrench. I know you didn't get it, but I mean, we were practicing earlier. You're pretty quick at this check. Not a win, but second place. I mean, how hard you guys were battling for second? It felt like a win. Uh, what was your thoughts? And could you have done anything a little bit more to compete with Tampex? Do you think in your car? <laughs> Hell no! <laughs> oh man, I was, I was terrible on that bottom, dude. Well, I figured out the high side late, and I was like, "Oh god." I, sh I mean, if we had maybe like a restart, I could have fucking moved him out of the way. <laughs> I mean, still, I mean, that's still a great finish, second place. You know, you can't always win them, but. Getting second place, especially good points. Uh, that's a good run for you. Um, All I can uh, say is one thing: I miss these motherfucking cars, dude. Hey, Amen. <laughs> yeah, you run well in these cars. I won't even lie. You run well in my uh, fun race. Okay, so next up, uh, Tampex. I mean, essentially, you dominated the whole race. I mean, to be fair, uh, the one time that we didn't see you in the lead was when someone did a pitch strategy. But besides that, I mean. What, what did you have in your car that no one else did? <laughs> man, man. Oh, gosh. Um, I mean, yeah, this is another... Over end. <laughs> Nitrous in the gas. Jet He's got the bank glass. <laughs> I mean... I don't know <laughs> I mean, this is your third win in a row. I mean, I mean, you're on another streak. So, um, what are you going for? Uh, I mean, you're basically locked in. You already won so many races. You're basically locked in the playoffs. What are your goals of uh, going forward after this win? 
I don't really have any goals. Just get enough playoff points to pretty much lock myself into the final four off of that and not have to win to get in, like ever. All right. Uh, do you guys have anything to say or want to talk about? Okay. Um. So next week we'll be heading to. Next week we'll be heading to New Hampshire, a short track. Honestly, it's. You do. Um, New Hampshire's honestly a fun track. It's gonna be very tight. It's another short track as well. So I expect it to be tight racing. Should be competitive. Um, and most of you guys, hopefully next week, uh, please tune in. Thank you.